There is a state of emergency in California, Santa Barbara County this morning. Crews are rushing to protect the coastline from a large oil spill that now stretches nine miles. Some 20,000 gallons may have reached the ocean after a pipeline ruptured Tuesday. Carter Evans is at Refugio State Beach in Golita with a look at the damage already done. Carter, good morning. Good morning. Cleanup crews were out here all day yesterday and they've actually made some significant progress. The rocks out here and some of the sand is looking a lot better, but they still got a long way to go. And while the full environmental impact of this spill is still unclear, we're starting to see some of the first victims of this disaster. Two days before the Memorial Day holiday weekend, this stretch of coastline looks more like a hazmat scene than a place for beachgoers. Workers in white protective suits and helmets are scooping up lumps of crude from the blackened sand and hauling it off in clear plastic bags. The owner of the ruptured pipe, Plains All-American Pipeline, is taking full responsibility. We apologize for the damage that is done to the wildlife and to the environment. We are here to make it right. So far, skimmer boats and vacuum trucks have reportedly collected at least 6,000 gallons of oil, a fraction of the 100,000 gallons that may have leaked from the pipe. The crude is now threatening area wildlife. Santa Barbara County's district attorney is considering criminal and civil charges against the pipeline owner. Animals have died and suffered. The kind of effect that this oil will have will last a lifetime. And we want to do, hold whoever is responsible for this responsible. It wouldn't be the first legal trouble for Plains All-American Pipeline. The company was forced to pay $44 million in pipe upgrades and civil penalties five years ago after 10 leaks around the country. In the meantime, several thousand people who usually visit this popular camping and sunbathing destination will be turned away as two state beaches will remain closed through the holiday weekend. We realize that it's an inconvenience and we know that that people's plans, especially over this weekend and next weekend, are going to be impacted by these activities. Well, Plains American Pipeline says the pipe that ruptured was not part of the upgrades from the 2010 settlement, but it says that there were no problems with this pipeline before, and they won't know the exact cause of the rupture until they can excavate the pipe in question. Gail? All right, Carter, thank you.